So anyways, today, Marsh, um, early this morning, it's probably at that time, it was 10 something her time. It was a three hour different from my time. Of course, she went live about, you know, Krishan and Blueface. Good morning. Good morning. And I wanted to share what she had to say. I do actually have, uh, um, let me take this down for one second. I do actually have a 10 o'clock live going up today. I'm still editing, doing some edit. It's going to bring to light the relationship between Christian Rock and Blueface, where it's going now, what, where, you know, I um, foresee it going in the future. Um, you know, you know, like things only can change if two people change it. Um, so it was, it was, um, refreshing to hear from Marsh and I was kind of surprised that she had mentioned, um, Blueface alongside the conversation. So I recorded some of it. Um, she's probably off of live now, but yeah, she was live just about an hour ago. So I figured that I would do an early morning live because I did not do one yesterday night because I was tired. And I said, hunty, I got to take a nap. So, you know, I went and took my little nap and I got up early because um, I went to sleep too early. So my sleep's all over the place. So we're going to definitely... Um, follow marsh and you know she got some new, new music that she's dropping she was talking about that um that's what's up sis um and you know she was just talking about how she met Krishan rock i know you guys would be interested in knowing that she talked about um what her her nickname stands for um she she said some surprising things that I otherwise would never have thought that she got down on the get down with. And, um, but you can't judge a books by its cover at the same time. And, um, you know, I think that, you know, it was late night. She was laid back, you know, and she just poured out her feelings. So I didn't record everything that she had live streamed because of course I have to edit it. Now I don't like when Marsh, Sometime reads from the Bible. She only did a couple of scriptures that were like real short ones. Cause you know that if you start getting into the Bible, because religious is a religion is a sensitive topic, people tend to like log right off. So she she wasn't she was real short with it, but I don't like people talking the name of God in the same sentence as cussing and profanity and carrying on. So she's need she needs to work on that. You know, but we all have things that we need to work on. So it's not like I'm here to critique her. I think she's been a real good friend to Krishan Rock. I have not heard of any foul play with Marsh. And, um, you know, I think that for the long haul, she's going to remain Krishan Rock's friend. You know what I'm saying? Even if Blueface and Krishan Rock are not together in the future, I, I believe that they will be long standing friends. And let me check something real quick. Let me see how this internet connection is. Yeah, it's doing good. So I'm gonna um let you guys listen to this um video and uh well live that she just did on seven seven, which was early this morning, my time. Put in the comment section what time it is where you guys are at, and also what state that you are tuning in from. I just have to. So the video is almost done. I just have to. Get a lot of toilet paper. Get a lot of toilet paper. I just have to finish this <laughs> other part of it. Yes. And yeah. Somebody take the screenshot. Let's see. Tiffany, I'm like you right here. Look, I do. I look like an angel. And I look at your face. Yeah, so basically, that's my freaking song. It's called Heaven on Earth. I'm gonna all congrats. To Maybe Marsh. Be in because I think it dropped on East Coast time. I live in California though, so Baltimore, Maryland, three fifty four. Same here. But um, welcome over there. It's already ready to be done. I maybe did that with my settings. So yeah, I just let that song loose. 
I was tired of holding on to it. So I'm excited for my new beginning. Um, my cover art is like pink, blue, and green because it's like me and my best friends. They're like, we're like the Powerpuff Girls to me. And then also like, um, it's to like show appreciation to like Krishan and Blue. That's why it's pink and blue. Like pink is the color, blue is another. Cause even though we crazy, we still accomplished a lot oh, together. I'm gonna do it again. We're gonna do it I again. can't wait to. It's she you with the ninja this. outfit. <laughs> you found your hat. So I can't wait till she gets into how she met Krishan. I I didn't realize how she met her. She hasn't really known her for a long time. I was kind of shocked about that, but they became close. And Krishan, the way she met her was almost like something out of a movie. It, that only happens in the movie, but it does happen in real life. Um, but just listen up, don't get the ADHD going on and listen to what she has to say from beginning to end. But she definitely tells you how they met and it was the weirdest thing. So just listen up. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like to show respect to my team and like the people that helped me blow up actually. Um, uh, we did something crazy together and it's still going. So yeah, well, my people... It's going through something. I'm trying to keep live. You know Make sure y'all hit that like button. It's free to like or dislike. I'm to keep it for the game. You feel me? So I've been, I made that song like, I made that song. I made that song like maybe last year or something like that. Um, FA recorded it for me. Um, F.A. is a dope engineer. Krishan introduced me to him. And then it was also mixed and mastered by Blues Engineer. Um, Krishan introduced me to him. And uh, that's who mixed and mastered my song. So for my credits, um, we, we were always talking about like having like a label and stuff like that. So I kind of just went ahead and just like made it a real thing. So this is heaven sent music. <laughs> so if you don't know now, you do. Um, so yeah, that's like kind of like where I'm taking where I'm going with it. Um, so like, yeah, well my team locked up. I'm trying to do that, bro. What? All by my lonely. So I figured it out. I was like on distro. I figured out like, I do this. And then I figured it out. And then I uploaded my lyrics. I don't know if it's up there, but hopefully it is. Because I did it all myself. So it was kind of like a lonely experience. Ex experience because um, I'm used to like doing like music stuff with my friends. And everything like that. I'm in like a crazy transition right now. So... For me, it's been a lot going on too, like for myself. But <laughs> this song, I was supposed to do this, like making a video, but I'm still gonna make a video. But um, I have like some notes that I took to like why my song is like what it is and what it means to me. Hold on. This is my um, this is my book from church. So I go to LA Potter House. On Hollywood, um, you know me and all my friends go there. That's our church. Um, so when I was in church, it was Pastor Ebenezer. He was doing this sermon. She's not gonna do a sermon because we all know when she pulls out the Bible. And sometimes Christian Rock, they get into sermons. Not that we're not, you know, religious people, but a few times she did put pull out the Bible, but it was just to, um, you know you know, give a point to what she was trying to say that's going on currently in her life. So let's not, you know, get agitated like, oh God, she's pulling out Bibles. No, it's not that. Y'all really just need to listen up because she had said some things that were shocking to me and I know will be shocking to you as well. About Joshua and Joshua coat closet and how like every time Joshua will level up to all these different levels, like he will always lose a jacket. So I'm like, okay. Okay, so basically as you level up to different levels in life, like you lose different parts of you because you got to make room for what you got to gain. So, um, my, my freaking 
my video and my song is like very like spiritual based. Like it's very like it's really me doing something with God. It's not really like about like how many people listen to my song. It's not really about how many. Uh, it's not about nothing that people usually make music for. It's all about like what I'm doing with God and like me surrendering to Him and me allowing Him to move in my life. The hey, Ken. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So. You guys haven't seen the video yet, so I'm kind of going to keep a few things a secret. Um, basically, I just haven't done the performance part of my video, but my video is done for the most part. Shout out to my baby. <laughs> she got her ninja outfit for me. I wanted her to put this outfit on, and so she, she put this outfit on for me. <laughs> so we can listen to my song. <laughs> so yeah, that's my beautiful director and big sister and best friend everything in one <laughs> so i got really blessed with her um she's amazing so yeah <laughs> so um let me see where do i want to start with you this? as so, well sweetie do I have a here? so this Feeling is my girl's life study application morning. bible so the main reason the overall purpose of this right is gonna be matthew chapter six so let me go to matthew chapter six and show y'all what I'm talking about. I know y'all always be like, this girl in this Bible. I be reminding myself of like a grandma, the way I be in my Bible, how I be, but this is really my, this is how I fight my battles. So Matthew chapter six explains how- Wait a minute, um, hold up. What did she say? Let me, hold up, hold up. Hold on. Him ...to move in my life the way that I know he is gonna move. So, you guys haven't seen the video yet, so I'm kind of gonna keep a few things a secret. Um, basically, I just haven't done the performance part of my video, but my video is done for the most part. Shout out to my baby. <laughs> she got her ninja outfit for me. I wanted her to put this outfit on, and so she she put this outfit on for me. <laughs> so we can listen to my song. <laughs> so yeah, that's my beautiful director and big sister and best friend, everything in one. <laughs> so I got really blessed with her. Um, she's amazing. So, yeah. Oh, I don't want to cry. <laughs> so, um, let me see. Where do I want to start with this? So, do I have my Bible in here? So, this is my girls' life study application Bible. So, the main reason, the overall purpose of this, right? That's just a blanket. Is be Matthew chapter six. So, let me go to Matthew There's chapter two six. Two kids on the couch. Her and son show y'all what I'm talking about. I know y'all always be like, this girl in this Bible. I be reminding myself of like a grandma, the way I be in my Bible, how I be. But this is really my, this is how I fight my battles. So Matthew chapter six explains how. Yes, um, I've seen it. Yep. It says, so this is my overall motivation. That's a blanket though. Like my bottom line motivation. I have so many other pieces blanket. of it that's like, connected to it. But my bottom line motivation couch. is um, Matthew chapter six, uh, Verse 33 through 34. So it says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't. It's alleged be, allegedly being said that little man's with um, uh, Krishan Rock's sister. I don't really want to get into that, but yeah, that's what's being said. Don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's troubles is enough for today. So basically what that means to me is like, Seek the kingdom. So that's why I said, like, my song isn't about, like, how many people listen to it, how, if it blows or anything like that. Like, I really could care less. I would love that, but I really could care less. Because God's going to give me the desires of my heart anyway. And he know what I'm trying to do. But, um, yeah, this was all to kind of, like, represent my team and my friends and myself. And, like, present my talent and, like, what I'm capable of. Uh, I do so many different things and I never really talk about them or share all the things that I do, but music is one of them. Um, I started making music or like liking music when I was in church as a kid. I used to be in like a choir and my uncle, he used to like take us to church and I used to sing. Um, so that's like where my love for like just like expressing myself for came from. And then I made my first song with my cousin called Don't Girls when I was like 11 when I first started selling drugs. Um, so that's when I made my first song when I was a kid. And then 
in 2020 when my baby father passed away um my husband uh i made a song about my feelings what, like about like what we used to do how we led our life like what was happening and how i wanted to continue his legacy and stuff like that um then right after that i met krishan <clears throat> like maybe like a month later um she wasn't famous yet and when she was walking out of this out of the 7-eleven by her apartment building i was walking into that 7-eleven but i was going into like a long store but i had a lot of money like on my body so like we bumped into each other and all my money fell on the ground and i had like thirty thousand dollars this is a true story and it all fell on the ground so she was like what are you doing like where'd you get all this money from like, and i'm like what <laughs> then she just started helping me pick it up first i'm like kind of weird because i'm like a random person is like helping me pick up a lot of money right now and then she walks to the car my big sister tay tay um she go by princess she was waiting in the car for me so when i came back with this girl she looking like Who's girl and then um we had said something about god so my sister's like she can get in the car with us so she Krishan got in the car with us but she was like i got my own car parked right here so then she took her car and took it to her apartment it was like probably like a minute away from where we was and then we was just with each other all day like we went and pissed in her shower don't ask why because the toilet was broken but we peed in the shower and then after that we just had like a date because i just kept hustling and she was just right there and then we had talked about lashes because i had just opened up a salon and that was like how i was going to start getting my name like moving back around in the city and stuff like that because i had went absent for so long like with being with my baby father and like turning into like a wife and like transitioning into like a housewife and like all these different things and then i had randomly just lost all of it i had like this big house i had a whole lot of money but i didn't care about any of that i cared about something real and i was just so like caught up on like building what i had lost so like she was just ready to go Krishan was just ready to go so i was ready to go too so then we just went and then i met jay a little bit after janet and then it was just like me jay and Krishan, and my sister kind of went about her own thing once she knew that i was like secure and okay she went about like doing her own thing and then um me and Krishan and jay we just start plotting like Krishan got the casting at the blue club and then i just had a lot of money so we was just having fun doing what we want to do fun in our lives and stuff like that and then like that's why I just kinda, like, looks out for being, now like, her project manager and jay started being her role manager and we just started like she didn't have marsh roles, like and building this business and this empire together and blue included and it just started working like it was a lot of trials and tribulations but we started blowing up like we started making money we started like rooms that we weren't accepted in like we started getting accepted in like it was just crazy and we made a lot of progress like just off our faith and our confidence for real so in recent times like i feel like who we are has kind of gotten lost in the sauce a little bit so i feel like everybody needs to like stand up and like present their like their little razzle dazzle so we can keep going where it was going stay out of jail pretty much i miss them so much honestly i feel so weird sometimes without them it's so weird even though we crazy it's just ghetto like we just from the hood y'all like red flags but it's like it's just this is just us like if y'all grew up in the projects for real and y'all was just like doing what y'all was doing and then there's automatically like all of a sudden cameras and like fame i guess and like all these different things like if you just gonna you're just gonna remain yourself like you're not gonna change just because there's a camera in your face or at least you shouldn't but we didn't so that's why you still see us act how we act when we act in like normal like in a way even though it's not technically normal it's bad habits that we probably learned when we were kids or whatever it's like i don't know this is it's just us and i don't know like be there when we grow be there as we advance be there as we step into different levels of our lives so um everything is so crazy right now i can't believe i really can't believe i dropped this song i'm just like oh my god i really dropped my song <laughs> I feel like, Sound like I really goofy. dropped my song. Like, okay. So I have other music. So I have, I don't really know my sound. Um, I've been like working on myself. Like, I feel like my weakness in music is like my cadence. I need to work on that. But in my most recent songs that I've done, they, it sounds a lot better. So I make a lot of progress. But I don't be in the studio as much as I should. 
But um, yeah, this is like for me to just like um, launch like heaven sent music in a way and like uh, show like solidarity with my team and show like behind the scenes like, yeah, we do a lot of things, but we're really talented, we're really, diff really gifted and we're really authentic. And like, we don't really care. We just want to take care of our people. I'm just trying to get my mom out of Richmond. I'm from Richmond, California, if you didn't know. Even the time I say I'm from the Bay Area, like people be like, Oakland, San Francisco. And I'll be like, Richmond, like I'm from Richmond. Like I'm from a very underserved city. Um, so this <clears throat> this is also for my city. Like this so like where I'm from, they don't be like Virginia. Like, I don't know. This is just like, for me to just be like, to put myself out there because I made so much noise with all the crazy doing, which I'll get into those parts later eventually too. But like, it's like, it's time for me to kind of like, like put a name behind it because it's like, my city is crazy. Like, it's like, it's really hard to explain where I come from, but I'm gonna get into all of that. I actually start getting into all of that on this couch. This couch reminds me of a big comfy couch. Y'all ever saw the little clown girl from Big Comfy Couch? So I tell all my secrets on this big comfy couch right here behind me. <laughs> so I'm gonna start to let y'all like unfold my whole life. Um, not for like to get, not for the wrong reasons So just so that people who have a life like mine can relate to me. Um, people who don't understand me and I wanna understand me can understand me. Uh, people who like, come from where I come from to just like give them a voice uh, and just everything from the small things to the big things, from the little things to the great things. So I just feel like I'm just seeking the kingdom right now. And that's the only thing that I know how to do. While wow, I'm in like this dark, I'm so sensitive. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> oh, stop it. You've been around Kishan Rock too but, long. Like, While well, I'm in like this like weird transition with my life right now. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure it out. And I guess it's time for me to just take y'all with me. Why not? But yeah, I can't wait to break down my lyrics. So I'm gonna do like a lyric breakdown. When I drop my video, I'm gonna put all the representation, like the, I'm gonna explain like what everything means, like step by step, piece by piece. Yes. And it's very brave, you're right yes. sis. And then us, we did something really special for the video. That's Kari. And that's my son, Ola. And you see now that white blanket is like a throw blanket for a couch. A lot of people have throw blankets on their couch, um, Tanya. To be open. Yep. So I, want, I hope you've seen that because she is uh, showing her son and her um, friend son. Yeah. And this is me. Um, and she we have a very special so story. Funny. All of us have something in common. Um, so God always says when two or three gather um, with him in mind, like, things prosper. So I did something really special with them that I'm going to drop. I probably can finish it tonight. So after I do this, I'm going to do my other, like, recording parts that I need to do for, like, some of my promotion stuff for my music. And, yeah, I'm going to just start to be way more transparent. Like, my big sister, she was like, Oh, where's the so where's the video? Where's the video? Like she wanted me to do this video so bad, and then I had texted her like, "Sorry, I'm not good enough for you. Go find a different little sister then." Because I'm like, drop the song. She always told me to drop my music. Like, drop your music, drop your music. And I'm like, I finally the music. Now you talk about the video. Like, girl, <laughs> give me a break. But I know she just be trying to like push me so I can do the right things. So she just wants me to be great. I get it. But sometimes life just be life in and you just got to keep doing stuff with it. But yeah, um, this song is very special to my heart because it's about my feelings. It's about like where I'm at, me being a single mom because I have a deceased father, a deceased partner. So I can't like call my baby daddy. I can't be like, oh, right, come get your son. I can't, I can't do none of that. So like, that's really weird too. Especially because this would, this wouldn't be my reality. 
like having to raise my son by myself even though i'm not by myself but it's like i don't have the person that i made him with like i didn't make him by myself so it's like and he took full responsibility for his child in every way financially emotionally every way so it'd be like it's weird for me not having him and then like with my son growing up into like a young man and like knowing that I have to raise a man, but I don't want to be anything but a mother. Um, so I have to find resources and I'm doing that and it's okay. But I also know like when kids go through what they go through, like I went through it. So it's like, I know how to like communicate with my son about it. I just wish he didn't have to feel this. Like, cause I felt losing my dad. So it's like, I wish my son didn't have to experience that. And that's so challenging for me. It's really complicated. I hate it. But, like, God has a plan for us because there's so many promises written about people like us in the Word. So it's like, uh, that's what I'm going to tell y'all about when we do our video. The one with me, Kari, and Ola. And they're both named after their dads, too, which is really cool. Um, So that. And then it's also just about, like, I don't know, like, you know how, like, y'all always, y'all on social media, yeah, y'all, y'all are always just, like, saying crazy, and then, like, recently, for some reason, I don't know why I got, like, oh, you're such a, I have a very, I have a thing where I let God speak for me, like, I, I try to stay mute as much as possible, and I try to really focus on timing, um, because it's, like, you can really speed up time by submitting, and, like, obeying, and, like, being obedient to God, so I've kind of, like, learned how to like master my life to an extent by like really being locked in with God. Um, so it's like, right now I'm trying to speed up time. I'm trying to make something happen that's supposed to happen. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to do something. So y'all that's gonna support me while I'm doing this, I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. And I'm not about to stop, so that being said, for Marsh now. My name's not Marsh too. That's just my nickname. But the cool part about it is that my name is written in the word. So let me show you guys. So it's written in the book of Job. Job is like a very respectable man who suffers, but he doesn't really know why he suffers. But that's because we're all kind of like not innocent in a way. Like we all are sinful to an extent. So none of us are free of sin. But it's like, I think it's so ironic that my name is written in this chapter in the Bible. And I really studied this part of the word like intensively. And I'm going to... Inet is a new member. So my name is Rick. Thank you, thank you, sweetie. God and bless you. And Sean name sweetie. is in the word too. So that's the crazy part about our friendship. But uh, Tiffany so in the building. In Job chapter eight. Um, <laughs> um, in verse uh, in verse eleven, my name is written. So. I can read the whole thing, but I feel like y'all don't really understand the context. I don't know if y'all read the Bible, but you got to kind of understand the Why context. Why are you sorry, but, uh, Tiffany? Basically, wait, when this my, wasn't when a schedule written, live at all. It says, can papyrus read go tall without a marsh? So, can you grow tall without a marsh? Ask yourself that question. And then it says, can marsh grass flourish without water? Well, they are still flowering, not ready to be cut. So I'm gonna read that again. So my name's actually written twice. So it's 11 and 12. Marsh is my nickname, but Marchionet is my real name. But Marchionet? It says, can said? papaya reeds grow tall without a marsh? Can marsh grass flourish without water? And in my opinion, water is like, what Jesus Thank you, says. sis. Says Thank am, you, Tiffany, for always um, being you here. from my well, and, and I give you a thirst that can't, that basically worldly things can't quench. What's the word? Quench? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, whatever. So it's like, 
I'm just trying to do something. And I'm trying to water my own self so that I can allow this thing to grow the way that it needs to grow. So that might sum up a little bit too with the feeling. I mean, what the heck I'm doing. But I still don't know what I'm doing too at the same time because God's going to fill in the parts. But I'm excited. And I'm I love listening to uh, Marsh. I think she has a heart of gold. I just don't like when people talk about the Bible and God and this and that and other and they're cussing and carrying on. I don't think that that goes together. However, um, she did, and a lot of you may have missed it, and it's okay. You're not going to make every live, Tiffany, you know, or anybody. No one's going to make every one of my lives. We have lives as well. And it doesn't make you a bad person. Even if you hadn't seen a live or pre-recorded video in a month, we have lives to live outside outside of social media. I didn't do half of the work I should have done for the beginning of this month because I've been resting, because I've been fasting, and I've been concerned about my health, you know what I'm saying, my well-being, so that I can be the best I can be to you guys when I come back. But, yeah, Marsh said that she met her in, what, 2022 Christian Rock. The They were coming out of a, a store. One was coming in, I think. I can't remember. It doesn't matter who came in or who left out. And they bumped into each other. And Marsh said she had quite a lot of money on her. Krishan helped her pick it up. And as um, Krishan was helping her pick it up, she was like, hmm, this is strange. I got a stranger helping me pick up all this money I got. And Krishan was questioning, too, where did you get all this money from? And... uh Krishan got into the car with Marsh and Marsh's sister at that time, the first time they met, um, from bumping into each other at that uh, store. And then she said that, um, you know, she had to go park her car, which was like a minute up the street. She parked the car. Um, they went to Krishan Rock's apartment, you know, chilled with her all day, and they've been friends ever since, best friends. And then, you know, she was saying basically that Krishan was on the grind and that's how she got them on to the baddies with Blueface. You know what I'm saying? But when she met Marsh, Marsh was the moneymaker. Marsh was the one that already had the money. She did lose the baby daddy. Um, He was unalive. But she said she had the big house. You know, she was hustling, you know, dealing in, you know, dealing those street pharmaceuticals. And, you know, I'm quite sure with that money at the time when she met Krishan Rock, she was looking out because Rock wasn't r quite famous then. Um, and that's why I think Rock is so cool with uh, Marsh and their best friends because they've been together. They've they've been there. They've done that. And I think that out of everyone she's met in California, you know, and she's met Sky too. I don't think that we'll get ever get a story like that out of Sky um, being that genuine, like Marsh is and was to Krishan. Can't help it. I like Marsh. She's lawyer, and I agree. A big heart. She's finding her way. Exactly. It says Miss S. L. Davis, best chat family on YouTube. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Yeah, so I was tired uh, last night, and I just fell back. I have a live stream. I want to let you guys know I'm still editing the other part of what I'm going to do a, a live commentary to at 10 a.m. It's really long, so that's why I'm going to do the live stream at 10 a.m., um, so I'm, 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 I'm gonna say that I'm back on the grind again, pumping out these videos, two lives, at least maybe three a day, you know, especially if I can't sleep, like I swax, well, I just woke up a few hours ago, like two hours ago, and I'm definitely not going to be going back to sleep because I get up around five anyways, but I will be definitely going live today at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is Sunday. Yes, it's early, but have no fear because I always like to do the premiere videos and recap what you guys may have missed. Because a lot of you guys from my community, 
do miss a lot of stuff. So I want to make sure if you've seen it already, you've seen it already. If you can see it again, you have a choice. Or if you didn't see it, then you're able to catch the uh, recap on the premiere videos. My issue with health has been harder this month, too. Three times a month. You're talking about with your sleeping, Tiffany? Yeah, I just, I have a habit of getting up early anyways, but when you're fasting, you'll, you'll find that you don't have that much energy used for um, digesting food because there's no food there because you're fasting. So you have a lot of energy, so you stay up. So you, your body doesn't require that much sleep. That, that's what the problem is for me. So that's, and, and not only that, I just, I'm an early bird. I get up, I get up, even if I didn't get up as early, I get up early anyways. That's why it wouldn't make any sense for me to go back to sleep. Unless I, unless my eyelids got tied, I mean heavy, I definitely would go back. But if they ain't heavy, honey, we ain't going back to sleep. Marsh is a real one. She's definitely a real one. And I hope that not only do we recognize it, but I hope that Krishan recognizes it. Because, you know, in life, we, 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 we're we lucky to find friends like Marsh. Marsh has been riding with Krishan Rock for a minute. And, um, you know, it's, it's a blessing that, you know, we can honestly, people that see real and recognize real, we can see that uh, Krishan does have a friend. If, if, if um, maybe not many, she has, you know, Marsh at least. Now, some of these other um, suspects, I don't know. But I just hope that when she gets out, that she cleans up her house, Krishan Rock. And she even, you know, keeps, you know, keeps in mind, you know, what she's going to do with, with, with Blueface as well. You know what I'm saying? You know, she might have to side-eye him. Because I don't honestly think that when Blueface gets out that anything's going to change in the relationship. I think he's just going to be Blueface. You know, he's going to, everything to me is just on a pause. And I think that because his mind is so young still, he hasn't grown up for a 27 year old. He's not, a, he's not a mature 27 year old. I believe that he's going to get out and he's going to, this is like a pause. He's going to feel like he's got to make up for lost times. I stay awake. Oh, you're awoke more than you sleep. Okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you got to get your rest in, though, Tiffany. I think that he's not a mature 27 year old. He's an immature. He can. He has. He's an immature 27. Uh, 27 year old. He. I mean, he has his moments, but I think that he's gonna definitely make up for the time that he hasn't been on social media. So y'all just beware if he starts acting funny. And I want to, I mean, this is the video I'm doing um, live tonight. I mean, tonight, this morning at 10 a.m. is going to be an eye opener. It's just going to remind you guys that, let me just say this to you. Just, nothing has really changed. And I just want to remind you guys so you're not disappointed when things might not play out as planned, as Krishan planned and shared it with the social media. You know, and this is not to, um, you know, bash Krishan, you know, talk down on her. It's just a harsh reality of what happens in relationships. Sometimes you think you're going to be with that person for the rest of your life and it doesn't turn out in that that fashion. And I just hope that she is prepared for the repercussions of what's to come, you know, out of that relationship. I think she's put in more than she's gotten back. And um I just hope it works out for her. Let's just say that. And, uh, you know, he's doing some more time. Hopefully this time around getting in, you know, trouble like he did. Let me um, take this down because I don't like the way it's coming in. Future references, like I always ask you guys, please make sure to um, let me know if the um, content is not coming in clear. Now, we've been lucky the last couple of weeks. 
Uh, the content's been coming in lovely, but we want to keep it like that. The content coming in lovely. So y'all got to let me know when um, it's not coming in clear. I don't want my my videos playing fuzzy and I'm not trying to get sued for y'all. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I'm saying for y'all's eyesight going uh, messed up, trying to strain to see what's on the screen. So um, listen, I'm not going to stay on here long because it's a busy day for me for a Sunday. I have to finish editing these clips. And I'm going live today at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Most of y'all probably know that because I was supposed to go live last night, which would have been better for me. But I was so tired, I wouldn't even have made it. And it was just too much to cover that I wanted to cover with you guys last night that I would not have made it. So listen, I'm going to get off for now. Love y'all. Stay blessed. And I'll see you at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning and a happy Sunday. I'm going to put my little roses and hearts up into here. And I hope, I hope that you guys are able to make it to the Sunday live. Love y'all and stay blessed. I'm out.